Hello guys, welcome to day number 15 and happy engineers day and to celebrate that special day we're gonna explain a very nice topic today and that is what's the issue with if a statement in Verilog like if you don't follow something perfectly then you might get into some trouble and we're gonna know it and to uh, and for sure we'll avoid that trouble in our future designs of digital electronics so yeah step one is done now this always if to see what is happening uh, in our last class we have taken one example and that is if rain happens if rain happens then take the umbrella right and if there is no rain else don't take the umbrella but now what happened if I write this thing if rain is happening then take umbrella and I just missed the else part. I just thought, hey, it's, it's general sense. If there is no rain, then why should I take an umbrella, right? But your Verilog don't have any general sense. So what it will do? It will do like this. It Anytime you do if else condition, it will generate a controller structure like this, or you can say a uh, two is to one mask. In the controller, we have rain as a variable, right? And we have two choice. One choice is to take an umbrella, another choice is, hey, don't take an umbrella. We have defined, a, if it is rain, then push this umbrella to my output button. But I forgot to mention what if there is no rain. So then what my simulator will do, simulator will think, hey, if there is no rain, then also I need to give some output, right? So probably I need to store the old value. So what it will do, it will just connect this with this and which will imply there is rain or there is no rain, you are always carrying an umbrella, which is wrong, which is wrong as per our lo logic or as per our design, what we're going to implement. Now, if we take a general example in our computer uh, scenario, for example, in our latest laptop, gaming laptop, we have one button, which is a hyper thread button if you click that hyper thread button or hyper performance button you get more performance so for sure there is in beneath there is a max which is seen if you have pressed that button or, or not if you have pressed that button then your performance will increase otherwise your performance won't get increased right but if you forget your else part whenever you are declaring your if then probably maybe all the time your performance you switch on your performance button or not your computer will always give the maximum performance and that is not of our logic right we want it should be conditional here they also given us some example real life example one is this and that is if cpu is over heat then shut off our computer but we forgot the else part so what is happening actually we never able to start our computer if it is overheating perfect i will shut off uh, shut off my computer otherwise i'll remember the last result which is shut off my computer so that means always i am shutting off my computer only and there is another example and that is if i haven't arrived to my destination negotiate neg of your arrive then keep driving and which imply which equal to your gas tank is not empty but we forgot the else part so that means whether your gas tank is empty or not your computer or the processor of your bike or car will always feel that hey our tank is full right because here i only have given this as a output my tank is not empty you just see next year negotiations here don't get confused so i have given only one output and there is no else part so therefore we will get always that our tank is full but which is again not the logic we wanted to build so that's why it's very important actually what happened for example i i haven't still discussed but I, let me discuss here we have used case statement some time ago right and in case statement for example we have a variable called select and select is a actually we had this example in a few class ago select is a two bit number so select how how many combination we we'll select will have zero 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 one one zero and one one so we have four combination but here what i have declared i have declared if it is zero zero do something if it is zero one then do something and if it is one zero then also do the third option but i just forgot to mention what i will do if it is one one i just forgot to explain to my Verilog simulator 
that time exactly that time our Verilog simulator will just get confused and he or she whatever it is will feel that hey what will happen if it is 1 1 so probably I need to remember the old result so that's that's where it will build a memory element probably this case statement if I have provided all the four result all the like what I need to do if all the four combinations are there this case can be implemented through a combinational circuit right I'll have four here and I, I'll have two bit select line but because I haven't provided this combination what I need to do that exact time it will actually build a mask and also a latch because mask can't store your output or remember the memory but here as we haven't provided anything for one one then our simulator I think hey we need to remember the output for our next clock cycle so for sure at the output we will unintentionally will generate a latch and which is again not un it is not intentional we are actually wasting one uh, hardware element right and which is not a efficient design so they have given a nice thing here and that is anytime you're gonna write your very low code you first must need to know that what logic you want right is it only a purely combinational blob like only a mask only a 4 is to 1 mask i want to develop or you want to develop a combinational blob followed by a latch so just previous uh, example we will build a mask followed by a latch because we just forgot to mention what will happen if one one is there right these are small simple example but whenever you are doing chip level design or block level design those small small thing accumulate to a huge uh, thing so that's why it's very important so let us do some practice today we will solve something actually Th there is some issue yeah i have said you write this thing uh, computer overheated so if computer is overheated equal to one then you need to shut off your computer right but what will happen if my computer is not overheated i haven't provided my else part here she see this is the example i haven't provided my else part so if you haven't provided your else part or the other option of your input then i'll just remember the previous output so this is implying whether you select one whether you select zero you will always get a shut off computer which implies whether my computer is overheated or it is not i'll again i'll always keep on shutting off my computer so that's a very wrong thing it's a huge mistake so we're gonna need to correct it right so here they have given us this this is your problem statement here and that is and that is the following code contain incorrect behavior that create latches you can see uh, this thing this thing can't be created without your latches i need to remember my uh, output so here in synthesis if you do you'll find a latch there fix the bug so that you will shut off the computer only if it's really overheated here if it is really overheated then only shut off my computer otherwise no that's the first we need to do we need to improve we need to uh, correct our this logic and stop driving if you have arrived at your destinations or you need to refuel right if my fuel is not there i need to stop right otherwise how can i uh, keep on running but with this logic actually i will keep on running because my processor of my tesla is getting only that my tank is not empty because here's the uh, negotiation is there neg is there so that's a wrong logic we need to correct our tesla processor <laughs> okay let's do it so again we are using always block because if an else statement are procedures uh, statements only so we need to write them inside a procedure block we also know how to write if like this condition outside procedure blocks right last class i have shown you using conditional operator question mark and semicolon just revise last class if you forgot but okay let's come here so here okay if my computer is overheated then shut off my computer that is perfect else i need to add the else else what should i do i should say no don't shut off my computer so in digit uh, so in digital sense what does that means that means it is zero this is very simple but now for a second problem what is there second problem is that if you have arrived here i am saying i am i haven't arrived right so if i haven't arrived and uh, still how much time i can keep on driving my destination is there then i'll stop but my destination is not there so this condition will, will take of that care that hey my destination is still not arrived currently i want to go to party <laughs> weekend party so yeah i'll keep on driving till i reach my destinations that's perfect but there is another 
option is there and that is if you are like in my bike if i see my fuel indicator is very low i need to stop to a uh, refueling it right so that i need to enter here and both are very important it is not like if this or that it is if this and this if you haven't arrived to your destination and your tank is full then only keep on driving so here i'll put n person n person our logical and and my fuel tank so fuel tank is given by this one so if i arrive and if my gas tank is empty so gas tank is empty to negate it i'll use a negotiation here so if these both things are true then only i'll keep on driving else what i'll do i will stop driving so i'll write keep driving equal to zero and i hope everything is clear here so second one is more logical like how you need to think of logic of if else you don't need to miss anything and also you you can't miss else part in the very log sense otherwise it will create a ledge and here in this option we generally just miss the else part so i have just added that else part and let's submit and see if we can match with the result and see we got a success message right so next is your case statement i have just uh, while ago mentioned what's the issue with case right you need to give all the conditions so in this one we will see about that we'll do one problem um, i can skip it i hope but i'll still i'll go quickly in our next class and then we'll start with priority encoder but your homework could be please see around the case statement what is happening there actually so now is the time for the last day questions and this was your last day question what's the what's the difference between initial and always block and as i have said earlier also in simple word initial block will be executed only once in the beginning of your uh, module right and always will keep on it's like infinite loop but there is a catch and that is only when your sensitivity list anything getting changed in the signal provided inside the sensitivity list right so please build your answer from your own language and write down in the comment section it is yesterday's question but still i am saying today also you can do it and this is your today's question and that is what's the difference between blocking and non-blocking assignment please explain this is also very important as i said repeatedly so please comment down your answer and i'll see you in our next class till then tata bye bye and happy engineers day again